this project address precise regional forecasting via intelligent and rapid harness of national scale meteorological big data to provide precise weather model parameter predictions with the final temporal resolutions called prefer. This project aims to provide immediate and accurate data to the people in need. The essence of this preferred project is to use machine learning AI technology to harness massive amount of data for precise weather forecasting regionally. This project was created by me together with other investigators. The South Alabama Mesonet has been around since 2006 and currently we have 26 automated weather stations. The stations collect data automatically every minute of every day, uh, all year long. So the data that we collect are used in the Prefer project to help with weather forecasting. So those observations are used in machine learning modules that then detect patterns in, in the weather cycles like temperature, pressure, and those might have some relationship to phenomena that happen here like thunderstorm formation or low-level temperature inversions. During nocturnal low-level temperature inversions, it gets cold near the surface and warmer as you go up. So farmers spraying pesticides and, and other materials on their fields need to know that because during those stable conditions, that stuff, potentially poisonous, can drift to other fields or worse, residential areas. So if we can give them some lead time to let them know, hey, you want to protect your crops tonight because it's going to get very cold. And of course, with thunderstorm formation, thunderstorms cause a lot of flooding here in Mobile and other parts of South Alabama. We can pinpoint when those storms are going to form and where we can warn people. We have developed a set of models which can predict the weather condition like the temperature humidity, pressure, wind speed, and wind direction in the next few minutes, like the 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. We also derive the solution for the temperature, temperature inversion prediction, so in the fine grant manner. And also, we integrate the satellite image for the storm prediction. The real-world application of this project is wide and broad. It can provide the accurate weather prediction in the finer granularity. So this can have the significant impact to the agriculture, transportation, the public health, urban planning, emergency response for taking such timely action for the emergency alert. For this project, we wanted to go a little bit further and monitor real-time rainfall as a rain event uh, goes across the, uh, the landscape to measure that and feed it into the computers and actually have real-time gauges on the rivers that uh, can show that rainfall as it passes into the, to the river and makes the river rise and how fast the river is going to rise. Large local wetlands can act as catchment basins to mitigate flooding. This is where Dr. Sung and his uh, massive computer uh, computation abilities come into play when large data sets like rainfall from radar can be used to monitor the rainfall as it falls on the landscape and enters the river and how fast the river will rise according to that rainfall. The artificial intelligence and machine learning comes into play when data is fed into the computer and it sort of teaches itself uh, through many iterations and, and teaches itself how to <clears throat> better and, and more quickly process the data. In the short run, it'll help uh, forecast river flow and flood events uh, in real time. For AI, you need to understand, um, you have to have the 
the state parameters. So you need temperature, precipitation, um, dew point, you know, the, the basic mass momentum fields. Once you have that for 10 years, you can then go ahead and train the models and they will project into the future. Prefer has high granularity. Prefer is taking our data, our mesonet data, that our state has supported and is now looking forward. How, how are we gonna build infrastructure into the future to withstand? Because, you know, when you build highways or, you know, so on and so forth, you need to understand what might potentially come down the road in terms of whatever risk there might be. Prefer it, it is looking at a time scale that is really short time. So it's great for looking at tornadoes, flash flooding events, but we also want to expand beyond that. What might happen in the future? We are moving, we are transitioning from a physical based meteorological society to one that's physical uh, statistical. In terms of, of, of weather forecasting, we are looking at a brand new world.